Uh, hey, I have a theory that I came up with. We'll, we'll talk space really like a lot today. So let's start off with not talking space because I want to. I have a theory about Tesla and battery. Oh day. great! Oh great! I realized that Tesla has never had an existing product and then had like the opportunity to like announce a big change on it. They normally just do like you know the little incremental change, you know, like the. We changed the bumper, we upgraded the cameras, we upgraded the battery pack, you know, just these little things. But they've never had a product that needed a full refresh before, right? Like all their presentations are for a new product, not... All their presentations are for a new product. So they can't, if they're going to do a pretty massive refresh of an existing car, they can't say it's going to be the Tesla Model S and X refresh event because the day they, someone catches wind of that, it is gone. Like every sale of the SNX is gone, right? Mm -hmm. So they have to do like a battery day. I think (laughs) battery day for sure. Like the especially now with the price drop last week, I'm starting to think the uh, battery day is actually just a Model S and X refresh. They did have autonomy day. They did have autonomy day, and they also had dual motor day, which was when the Model S, yeah. Uh, it was when the Model S, they announced the dual motor version for the first time. They mm. did a presentation for that? Yeah, it was a whole deal. And it was oh, wow. in very Elon fashion. It, I think the headline was like, give them the D. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I do remember not, that. Yeah. Not even joking. <laughs> not, not joking about that at all. I mean, I'm paraphrasing. But yeah, it was something like that. So, uh, so they kind of did. But I think you're onto something there. I think that my speculation, my theory is that we're going to find out that, let's say, like Model Ys already have the new batteries, or maybe some of the newer Model 3s already have these. Um, you know, that, and uh, oh, sincerely hope that there is like an SNX. I don't know if it's an SNX like refresh necessarily, like design wise, but if you just said, oh, now it gets 700 miles and it's cheaper, or, or forget that it can go 700 miles, just like it's super cheap now. And, you know, mm-hmm. you can do that or something. Yeah. There, there could so- be some plays there. Yeah. My speculation was that maybe not it's already in cars, but that it's going to be like they would be dropping it as soon as they finished with the battery day. Like in my head, because I have multiple you know personalities conversating in my head, like one of the personalities was like, because, you know, they don't they don't announce things that they don't already have ready to go. And then my other head's like, where's the roadster? Oh. <laughs> you know, so. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. But um, well. Good that's theories. my that's my that's what I'm wondering. Well, I think since we're, we're here, or go ahead. I was gonna yeah, say I mean, there I, is something we can talk about about this. So, well, I mean, I think for sure, like we'll see the the plaid powertrain come out, right? With that, or is that not the right time? <sighs> that's a good question. Yeah, they've been testing it and all that stuff. We haven't heard much about it. You know, I still am blown away how Tesla can keep all this stuff secret, and it's a like a freaking semi truck. No one had seen or anything, but like Google can't keep something secret that you can just put in your pocket. <laughs> like how is that a thing yeah how is it not like oh wait someone almost took a photo of that whoop now it's in my pocket you know it's all yeah. gone well yeah. and with all the especially like when you look at starship and how much attention i mean i know it's a different company and everything but like there's just cameras on it all the time you know and and then like you had the cyber truck get unveiled and everybody was just go, just nobody saw that coming yeah i mean we were there and it was just like what is this <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. How do you keep that secret? Even when you go drive it around in there, the area right there at Hawthorne where they do that is visible from the other side of the the air the airstrip. Yeah. So you could literally have people imagine if you had people on that road, whatever it is, just lined up with like cameras like And they had Hawthorne. video. Hawthorne Chica Gal or something, you know, just like <laughs> focused on the Tesla design studio twenty four seven. Yeah. Mm. And they had video of it riding around in the desert and stuff. So, I mean, they got it out well, at some point. I do wonder, actually, if that's real. Um, uh, well, I know, yeah, I guess it could have. Because, well, we talked about that, right? Did we talk about it on here the, uh, what's it called, Blackbird 2 or something? It's like this car thing that they use for movies where they... All right. Have you guys seen this? Oh, yeah, um, I think you showed us it once, actually. Yeah, so what they do, it's like a, a car that actually can change... Uh, size and shape essentially mm. and it has all these crazy cameras and they drive it around in a scene in a scene and then you can cgi on a car and it looks perfect it looks yeah. like a hundred percent real that's true um, they probably did that. I, I mean i don't know that's something you could easily do with that yeah. 
Yeah. You know, and it wouldn't be hard. So, yeah. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this clip from our show. If that's just not enough for you and you want to watch the full episode, you can go to olfpod.com slash YT. And if you want more from us, you can consider becoming a Patreon member. You'll get early access to episodes. You can join our awesome community. You can actually watch us record live and get your name in the credits by going to olfpod.com slash Patreon. So thanks everyone for watching. Check back every Friday for new clips here and new episodes on the main channel. Thanks, everybody.